welcome back everybody to the next video in our intermediate and advanced training series for Civil 3D. We're going to continue on with our transparent commands and take a look at the next three buttons which mainly deal with northings and eastings. The fourth button down in my transparent commands toolbar here is a plain old northing and easting. It'll work on northing and easting within your drawing. You don't need a coordinate system set up for this one. The fifth button or sorry, sixth button, is a grid northing, grid easting. To utilize this command, we need to have a coordinate system set up in our drawing. And likewise, with the last northing and easting button here, this is actually a latitude and longitude button. And we know that latitude and longitude is just a global spherical coordinate system. It encompasses the entire world with numbers and a lot of the data, some of the data that we get is actually in latitude, longitude format and therefore needs to be transformed into a usable coordinate system, whether it be a UTM or a 3TM coordinate system, uh, state plane coordinate system if, you, if you're in the United States. We need to convert data. And one thing I just discovered is this latitude and longitude will convert from lats and longs to a specified coordinate system within your drawing. So let's start taking a look at these three buttons. Again, if I try and to use the button without being in a command, it does not let me. So I'm going to start my polyline. And I can start off by running this command right away. I can specify a northing and an easting. This works exactly as if you were typing in numbers within Civil 3D. So if I go 100, 100, it's going to start my polyline, hopefully at 100, 100. And we'll do 200 by 200 for the next one. And I'll hit escape. And if I zoom extents, we see that we have the polyline drawn here from, and I hover over top of this, we'll take a look at the coordinate readout on the bottom, 100 comma 100 to 200 comma 200. So this, again, essentially works the same way polyline command does. So if I just type in 100 and 100, and then we'll go to 10 comma 190, just to put it roughly near, as long as you don't have your dynamic input turned on, it'll be it'll be roughly the same command. Now, if we try and draw another polyline, I'm going to try and utilize the grid northern grid easting command. And Civil 3D will tell you at the command line, no coordinate system found. So if we go into the edit drawing settings, command and take a look at our coordinate systems. So the units and zone tab. I don't know if this um, relies on the NTV file I talked about in probably 30 videos ago where the coordinate system conversion will not work. I've got some feedback that it works for people regardless if you're in Canada or not with or without that file. In my past experience it hasn't worked. So I have that NTV file still installed you may want to make sure if, if this doesn't work that you possibly go back to that video and look at that as well. Now I'm just going to type in a coordinate system. Uh, not Canon 93. Of approximately, this is the one the city of Calgary uses the most. This will have a negative easting and a positive northing. So now if I want to type roughly something near the city of Calgary, so I'm going to start the polyline command. And if I utilize my grid northern grid easting, I can now access this command. If I go minus 13,000 comma, it's about 5.7 million. And then we'll do minus 14,000 and 5.7 million. And then I'll hit escape. Do not hit enter again. Uh, you have to hit escape to actually exit this command. It will drop a point on top of each other. And it looks like that did not work. So polyline, we'll try this again. Minus, th oh, I know what I did. Minus 13, or grid northing. Okay, hold on. Try one more time. Polyline. Run the command. Five. I didn't read the command line when I went to type things in. Grid easting minus 13,000. 
and then it asks for another grid northing, so we'll type 5.7 million again. So if I was to hit enter now, it would accept my previous input. And we can inadvertently, I'm just gonna hit enter a couple more times. As I'm trying to exit the command, I'm gonna hit escape. So now when I zoom extents, we have our polyline here. However, when I go into properties, and we'll take a look at all the vertexes. Vertex one is from here, minus 13,000, 5.7 million. If I look at vertex two, 14, minus 14,000, 5.7 million. However, I now have three points stacked up on top of each other because I hit enter a few times to try and exit the command instead of escape. So just be careful with that. Um, this command, I, I noticed that it does that. Uh, it, it keeps the previous typed in inputs for your next sections of the command. So that is one way we can utilize northings and eastings. We can draw them from polylines. We can draw them from alignments. The same thing with feature lines. All the civil 3D related commands now function as stated before with these transparent commands. Now, finally, the last one here, I will open up Google Earth and I'm going to get the latitudes and longitudes close to Calgary. Should be fairly close to where my polyline currently is drawn. So I am going to start a polyline. I am going to access the latitude and longitude command. And, and if you remember, I am in the 3TM coordinate system right now. I am not in lats and longs. Civil 3D asks me for my latitude, my northing. How far away am I from the equator? I am approximately 51.03 degrees. And to do the DMS, you can type D uh, apostrophe then the, or the quotation marks or just 51.0300. And my long, longitude, I am approximately minus 114.0900 away from... Greenwich, England. And we're going to type this again. We're just going to type um, 51.01 and I'll pick another one, uh, minus 114.13. Now if I hit escape and I zoom out, this is fairly close. So it's taken those latitudes and longitudes and actually converted them into the 3TM coordinate system that I have set up or the UTM coordinate system that I have set up. So when we get stuff and it's in that um, latitudes and longitudes coordinate system, we can take it right from within the transparent commands. Civil 3D will transfer it for us to latitudes and longitudes. If I go back into my edit drawing settings and try this command again, and we'll do ll-csrs, which is the latitude longitude for the Canada spatial reference system. We'll draw another polyline. I'll call the command again, northing, uh, easting, and we'll try northing of 52.01 and uh, a minus 113.01. We'll just make some numbers up. Hit escape a couple times. We noticed that it didn't appear on the screen here. It is now down by zero, zero because I've changed that coordinate system to the latitude longitude of the Canada Spatial Reference System. So that was just a quick video on how we can utilize transparent commands, specifically the northings and eastings within Civil 3D on a polyline. Again, it works with alignment. It'll work with your feature lines and any other related Civil 3D objects.